Hi, class of 2024. I'm Chad Stickrath, an internal medicine hospitalist and assistant dean for medical education for the post clerkship curriculum. I'm here today to welcome you to the post clerkship or extended phase four curriculum that starts for you all in November. I'm hoping that today I can tell you a little bit about what to anticipate when you start your time with us uh, many months from now in November. So for the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you about the goals of the post clerkship or extended phase four curriculum, show you a timeline and sequence of activities for that phase of the curriculum, tell you a little bit about our advanced science courses, our acting internships, electives, and other requirements, and let you know where you can go to find more information. So our first goal for you in this phase of the curriculum will be to add depth and breadth to your education, to select your specialty, apply for residency, interview and match, to strengthen the skills needed for your chosen career, to fill gaps in your education and ensure that you're competent in all the CU School of Medicine core areas before graduation, and to explore areas of medicine that interest you that you may never have a chance to do again. We have over 200 electives, clinical and non-clinical courses uh, to help with your exploration. This is the timeline um, of the post clerkship or extended phase four curriculum. So for you, it will expand or, or cut across the third and fourth year of medical school. So the third year, you will finish your clerkships the beginning of November, and then you'll start with us in the advanced science courses for a couple months, followed by a couple week winter break, and then you'll enter a pretty significant um, USMLE study period. And we expect that you will take step one by the end of this uh, study and exam period. And in fact, this exam or study period is long enough and you will have finished your clerkships and finished your advanced science courses that many of you may opt to also take step two during this time frame. You are not allowed to take step two until you have your score back for step one. You can schedule step two without your score, but you can't take step two exam without your step one score. So following this uh, study period, you'll do two weeks of ICC base camps to get you ready for your acting internships and electives. And then you'll continue in the spring of your third year, then your whole fourth year with acting internships and electives. You have a step two deadline. You must take step two by August 1st of 2023. And you'll continue these acting internships and electives all the way up till match week, yay, um, which occurs here in March. And between match week and your other big day, graduation, you'll have a four week residency prep course. So you'll be able to opt for one of a number of residency tracks so that the content of this course is tailored for you based on what you're going into to help you be an awesome day one intern. During the advanced science course period, you will also take your CPE exam at the Cape. You will meet with specialty advisors and you will plan your schedule of AIs and electives for the rest of your time in medical school. You'll put in course selections and there will be a lottery um, that runs to place you into your courses for um, this extended phase four. So we're providing you a lot of information upstream here. We'll provide more as your clerkships start to wind down and then have a more detailed orientation on your first day of your advanced science courses. So let me tell you a little bit about the advanced science courses. So we have a handful of goals and values um, that we consider in the advanced science courses. So we want you to utilize advanced science concepts in advancing the care for patients, engage in authentic advanced clinical experiences, and be able to explain advanced health system science concepts in the context of advanced clinical patients. So we've redistributed a lot of advanced biomedical science, clinical science, and health system science concepts that are often traditionally taught 
earlier in a medical school curriculum, we've actually placed them, redistributed them later in the curriculum. Once you've had a foundational experience in biomedical sciences, in the clinical sciences. So you'll learn immunotherapeutics at the same time that you're seeing immunotherapy patients in the clinical setting during the advanced science courses to help things stick better. We also know um, that the advanced science course period occurs right before your step one study period and that advanced science course content is on the step exams. And so we cover that content and we do questions that are framed um, clinically in USMLE style every week um, for during the advanced science courses. We also uh, try to provide a little bit of flexibility and individualization within the placements, the clinical placements and the advanced science courses for students. So we call these the ASCs integrated squared because the biomedical sciences are integrated in the same time frame with the clinical sciences. And across seven weeks, we integrate four courses throughout the seven weeks. So you have experiences in each of these four courses each week. So the courses are cardiovascular connections, global health and underserved populations, advanced immunology, and advanced neurosciences. In the mornings, you have advanced clinical experiences, generally one advanced experience from each course each week. And in the afternoons, you have advanced science learning related to each course. You have one capstone project, basically um, a complicated clinical patient or clinical question from which you'll integrate biomedical sciences, health system sciences, and advanced clinical sciences and teach us and your colleagues um, about how to take care of these patients or where the next uh, treatments might come from in the future. We also integrate USMLE questions, as I mentioned. So these are your advanced science course directors, and they all work together to put together a welcome video. So each course has a welcome video that I encourage you to click on. Each course group of course directors will tell you which clinical experiences you might get to uh, do while you're in their course and what they're most excited about for you to join them. So please click on those welcome videos from each of those courses. This is a sample student schedule for the advanced science courses. So each afternoon, all students come together to do a didactic for one of the courses. So in this example, all students come together to do immunologic learning, um, classroom-like learning, Tuesday afternoon, neuro Wednesday, global health and underserved Thursday, et cetera. And then each student will have advanced clinical experiences related to each of these courses in the mornings. So in this example, this student on this particular Monday morning is in the electrophysiology cardiology lab as a part of their cardiovascular connections course. On Tuesday, this particular student is doing neuro consults ID clinic, et cetera. Many of the extra half days are filled with other topics um, and learning modules. Um, and some are reserved for you to have independent learning time and project work time. So the advanced science courses are pass fail, you're welcome. Um, but we are doing something cool for the clinical evaluations. So when you go in to work with your preceptor for a given half day um, in the mornings, you will take your badge and flip it over and your preceptor will click on a QR code that's in your plastic sleeve. And that will open up on their phone a drop down menu that has all of the outcomes related to that particular advanced science course. And you and the preceptor will decide which one outcome you want to work on for that half day. And then at the end of that half day, they can fill out uh, what you were able to do related to that outcome when you worked with them. And then a lot of medical knowledge um, assessments related to Friday uh, quizzes that are in USMLE style format. You'll have the project, as we mentioned, and professionalism evaluations. So after the advanced science courses, um, we look, went over the timeline, but you have other requirements. So you have the base camps. ICC base camps, which we mentioned. So um, there's six weeks of those, two weeks at the beginning of the post clerkship period and your residency prep course at the end. 
you'll do one of the School of Medicine required acting internships. So the school requires a core set of fourth year skills be developed before you graduate. And those are accomplished in a subset of our fourth year courses um, that are required acting internship courses. And then you'll have 36 weeks of electives from which you choose, including away rotations or research rotations, um, et cetera. As I mentioned before, you'll take step one and two and you'll finish your MSA. So um, for now, finish your clerkships, do a great job, learn as much as you can, um, decide on what you think you might wanna go into. So enjoy your clerkship year, or your clerkship time. We will send you in a few weeks an ASC preference survey that will help us potentially tailor your experience a little bit in the advanced science courses based on your interests. And then we'll provide um, a more detailed orientation on advanced science course day number one. On our website, which we'll link you to, uh, we have this video, timelines, FAQs. We will be posting the phase four guidebook um, and obviously giving you more information during upcoming orientations. We'll host some office hours and you can obviously reach out with questions anytime. So our administrative team uh, for this phase of the curriculum, um, in addition to uh, me, we have Mary Teal, who's our post clerkship curriculum manager, Jenna James, who manages the acting internships and the electives uh, coordinator role, and then Carolina Jensen, who does the advanced science course coordination. You can reach out to any of us anytime um, for help. So we are really looking forward to getting, uh, getting you in the post clerkship extended phase four curriculum um, in a number of months. Please stay tuned for more information from us and uh, enjoy the rest of your clerkships.